All right, everyone, what we're going to be looking at today is going to be looking up just simple security setup on a Lexmark uh, device. Uh, what we can do is we log in to the machine using its IP address. And then what we're going to look for is the settings. So when we look under settings here, we can then go straight under security. So there's a couple of steps when it comes to this. Uh, we're going to look at security setup. Then under security setup, we got step one, we got step two, we got step three. So basically, we got to figure out how we're going to do this. So typically, just to lock a machine out for people walking up to to use the equipment, you want to put in a code. Uh, what you would do is you're going to create a pin. So we're going to say add a pin. We can name this whatever we want to name it. Uh, we'll name this one print. And it can be one two three four five six just to give it a code. And we can give it admin rights if we need to. Uh, any any way you want to set that up is perfectly fine. So we're going to submit that. All right. So now we've got that. So you can add as many as you need inside there. Um, that part is kind of up to you. Uh, we move on to step two. We're going to look at the security template. So we have to create a template for it to abide by. Uh, so we're going to add a security template. We're going to name this template, uh, and you'll see where this pops up here in just a minute. So we can just name this print function. Uh, we can name it copy function. Anything you want to name it, perfectly fine. So we're going to have the option here, and this is where you would see the list of availables. So we just created print. We're going to name it copy function. We'll say save template. So now once we've saved this template and said here, now we have to apply it to the different functions inside here that we're looking for. So we're going to look at access controls. And then underneath our access controls, we have all these different types of menus we can get into. Uh, so if you wanted to create like an administrator uh, of the device, then you would only want the administrator to be able to go inside here and mess with security menus, paper menus at the device. Uh, paper menu remotely, you have all these different options inside here. So as you select down here, you see how our copy function starts to populate here. So you'd be able to select that and say, okay, this person has access to this section and only that person. But now as we look down through here, like I said in the beginning, we're just wanting to lock the machine out for people walking up to the machine to, to do um, uh, just basic copying functions, you know, so that way they can't just walk up, use the machine. Uh, so two that we normally look at here is flash drive print. Uh, so we would say copy function has the ability to flash drive print. And we look at copy function for the copy function. Once we've set all this up, we've made all these uh, different things the way we want it, we say submit. Now at that point, that becomes locked out on the machine. Um, that's really all there is to it. So once we've submitted that, that information is there. Now that, that is locked out of the machine. And thank you for watching.